Kill Reapings here everybody, welcome back to Serious Creepers Adventures in Automaton. Hope you guys are doing fine, I'm just like checking this out here. So if you put down bone meal into the bottom left corner, every time it consumes water to fill this fertilizer meter again, it adds like 0.25 to the growth modifier, so it just like grows a little bit quicker. Kinda cool, just wanted to try this out. Uh, so I think today we're going back to the end and we will go there with our airship. Let me just see, why is there a death mark on the map? Oh, that was from right when I fell out of the world, sort of. Yeah, let's uh, show ways points off on the minimap. Don't really need that. And that should be okay. I'm actually going to make this a rectangle. I think I'm going to like this more. And then we can do mob display, small icons. Thank you for that tip. There we go. Tiny little minimap in the corner. That's nicer. Okay. But before we go and make the airships, let's just finish up some of these quests we have in here. There's only four left. I'm not sure if they branch off, but it's also nice to have some of these things, I suppose. So the first thing is a portable overflow nullifier. So that one, I think, just lets you... Yeah, um, portable nullifier will auto-pick up up to a stack of the item you specify and then destroy any more items it picks up. So very similar to the death null or something. And I don't know if this one lets you place items, but I guess we'll find out. There's also a... So this one is the overflow nullifier, so that will delete it when it has the stack inside, I'm guessing. This one is probably just deletes it right away. And this one deletes fluids. And then we also have them in block form. That's actually good. I'm guessing I just right click and it deletes the item, because there are some items I want to get rid of. Uh, like this chest plate over there. <laughs> I just dumped these on the ground. Probably not the... Nice thing to do. Okay, we can use one of our city buckets we got last time, which is great. And just... Is this cobble or is this stone? Cobble. There we go. Boom. And... It didn't detect again. Is this not the right one? Portable overflow nullifier. Portable overflow nullifier. Zero out of one crafting task and this is an available craft this time so that did not get detected uh, but let's see so we can right click so if i like for example take or oh, let's take oh that's all the cobble we have okay interesting um then we can like put this in there yeah and then it lets me place this and then if i pick it up so right now we have 54 now we have 55. Okay, that's actually really cool. I, li I like this. I should probably carry this around. However, that being said, since we don't really have cobblestone right now, I'm just going to put this away for now and then just use it later. But yeah, this quest once more is broken. Let me go double check this. All right. So it changed. I think what it, is, what it was is, um, you know, these have MBT tags and it wasn't set to like ignore MBT and then, you know, sometimes they mismatch. And I just changed it into a retrieval task instead of a crafting task so we can just pick it up and get it so hopefully this time it was fine not cheating it just wasn't working okay iron paxel oh yeah we did get the shader grab back last time didn't we get should we have two because we defeated the wither and the ender dragon i'm guessing both gave us one maybe hmm. i'm not sure i thought we have two what did we get uh, taken. Okay. So these you can apply to like certain immersive engineering items to make them look different. And also minecarts, right? I think. Yeah. Minecart. Shields. Oh, plated shield. Um, maybe we should do that. We just do it like this. I actually don't think I ever applied these. Oh, in a workbench, I think. Let's take one of our many workbenches. Just put it there for now. And... Okay. What does it look like? Not great. <laughs> it's fine. We'll take it. Okay, so the next thing whoop, is these filtered hoppers. Now, we did make the hopper pipes. We know how they work. But we also still have to make the filter hopper and the hopper faucet. So, um, what is that mod called? Faucets. Okay, let's just look this up. There we go. It's only these three items. So, that's just a comparator string and a hopper. And I don't... Do I have string? I do have string. Okay. Could have made some with... Um, the, the, the grinder too, or, or the pulver. Uh, comparator, is not a comparator? Nope, that's a repeater. Or with our hemp, we could have made it too, so. 
That's fine. Okay, cool. There's a filtered hopper. Oh, it's directional as well, it seems like. That's pretty cool. So if I put it like this, it points up. Oh, it points down. It points away from you. And then we have... Uh, this is input, I'm guessing. And then these are the filters, right? And it takes the item in the filter, okay? I wonder why there's a check mark. I guess just to show you these are okay. Now, I'm kind of curious if... Okay, it's kind of weird that they... Like, if I do like this... Oh, yeah, yeah, that would work. It would, like, input into it. So if I do this, it just goes inside, right? Into the chest. If I say only stone is allowed and then put this in, it still goes inside. <laughs> okay. Give it a redstone signal and the filter becomes a blacklist. Otherwise, it's a whitelist. Okay. Then why does that go through? Maybe it is actually reversed. Let's have a check. Let's take this redstone torch and put it here. And yeah, now it says no. None of these. It still goes through. <laughs> Am I, missing, am I missing something? What if I put this in? Oh, nope, now it goes up there. I honestly, I feel like an idiot. I feel like something I'm not quite getting. This is the whitelist, right? The bot allows you to set up five items in the bottom row as a whitelist filter to filter items through the hopper. Hmm, I don't know. It still lets things through. Uh, maybe I'm doing it just wrong. Maybe, maybe I misunderstand how this works. If you guys know, please let me know. Uh, but we also need an item faucet, and that will just dump out items onto the ground. I don't know if we have some of these pipes still. Oh, we have exactly three. How perfect is that? There we go. And now, I don't want to touch it today. Would you work with this? So I think on its own... Okay, it doesn't... It does have like an interface too. Maybe it doesn't work with these things. Uh, let's just put it here. Yeah, okay, that works. And then if you press this, it stops, and then it's like reversed. And then if you give this a redstone signal, I believe it uh, it averts that, so like it will be active again. That's cool though. Nice. I like it. Okay, that did that. Now I could get more pipes, filters, but I'm just gonna go with the loot chest. I wanna see what else there's in these. Iron ore and gold ore. That's pretty good. Just gonna dump this right in here. There we go. Okay, and then we have two more left. So the Weirding Gadget is a really cool chunk loader. I like this one a lot. It's very server friendly as well because um, it kind of shuts off if you're not on the server for long enough. Was it three? And then Iron and then Eye of Ender, which we may still have. No, we used up all of them, didn't we? We used up Ender Pearls, we do. And I think Blaze Powder was... Not in here, okay. Um, there it is. Yeah, uh, it's like, I think it shuts off if, like, the person who activates this is not on. Oh, yeah, it's only one. Um, and then, like, after that time, you... Wait, what? Did I make two eye of... Oh, no, I haven't crafted it yet. <laughs> I'm stupid. I was like, why do you have to still? Um, so you put this down, right, and then start spinning. A little bit of a lighting glitch there. It's not supposed to look like this. Uh, I'm not sure why it that so uh, does that sometimes. I've seen that in several packs like this. Might also be Optifine or something. But basically it chunk loads a 3x3 area around you, I think, if that's default in this too. Yeah, 3x3 three three, uh, area of chunks around you. And after 48 real life hours, it shuts off. And then you have to come back, like this will be stop, have stopped spinning, and you come back, you right click it again, and you turn it on again for 48 hours. So it's pretty cool. So like, yeah, if someone, you know, if someone, is, I'm actually gonna leave this here so we can keep Grind, oops, grinding and stuff while we are gone. That's weird. I feel like I feel like as soon as the place is down, this guy started. Huh, that was weird. Um, but yeah, so while we're gone, this can keep uh, doing its thing. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Now we get a loot chest. Let's just pick that one. I don't think it matters, I'm guessing. More lava buckets. And then the last thing, also a really amazing mod that I like a lot. It's like a very decorative mod. It's the platformer or the platform smart I suppose. Okay, so we need a platformer and the little wrench thing, which lets you, I think, modify, like rotate the blocks and stuff like this. So let's make this workbench first. We need red dye, which is nice, because we have a lot of that. So I keep using that for my roof tiles. And six iron. And do we have like an extra workbench? Sometimes I have some lying around just like there. Boom. Cool, we got this one. And yeah, it's getting... It's getting really busy here. Yeah, I need to, I need, I need to put down things. Ooh, they have. Ooh, ooh, they have an info thing now. That's new. Ooh, you can input and output or something. 
Oh, no way. That's super cool. You can do automate this now. Yeah, that is new, dude. I that last time I used that, that was not a thing. But basically, we can choose these shapes here, right? Like there's different, well, like railing or like platforms, railings, ramps, that kind of stuff. Platforms like this. And you take, well, actually, let's finish the, no, let's just do it right now. It doesn't matter. You take some wood, for example, spruce we could take, or any block, I think. Uh, and you and you can kind of design it. So I can say the, the top face is similar to the trim drawers, I suppose. The top face is like this wood, and then the side is like the uh, stone brick or something. And then, you know, you choose which item you want, just by selecting this, and then you get them out of here like this. And you can put them down in the bottom, you know, as an input, and... Uh, yeah, you just like craft these. So let's just make some of these just to show this. You can put these down. Uh, they kind of like attach in certain ways too. So for example, if I now get the railing, this one for example, you can see there's like this little line here. It would attach nicely to there. But you can also put these, I think, on the other side maybe. Oh, not with this one maybe, I'm not sure. But uh, like this. Oh, no, I remember how to do this. We need to wrench for that, right? Okay, let's get the wrench. Here we go. Uh, so you can like switch between certain designs. If I right click this, it rotates it. If I think shift right click, it changes the side where it's on. There's a corner piece. You know, if you want the pass going like this, you can change the direction these things face. You know, texture's just slightly different. Also like an inner corner piece. And then back to normal. And I I think there is, I thought there was a way where you can have a platform with two. So I placed like one now like this where it doesn't have a thing on the side. How does that work again? Oh, maybe not. Maybe there's only one where it's on one side. I thought there was a railing where you can have it on both sides. Could be wrong though. But yeah, this is super cool. You know, you can have like this now and then go this way, etc. So yeah, really nice mod. Uh, definitely going to be using this quite a bit probably in the future for decoration stuff for like our... Our, our like tech buildings and such so that should be fun that was the weirdest say of saying fun okay that did that and we get wood so let's take i don't have acacia well i'll take dark oak i guess it's a little bit more difficult to find but that completed all of these quests very nice all right but now for the actual task for today the ships around the world in 80 days all right so we need to make the uh, the v1 version of this uh, airship so it shouldn't be too bad now the last time i used this mod it's actually been a while oh and let me do height advanced tooltips uh it's been a while since i used it last so they actually added quite a bit to it uh i saw let's put the pumpkin in here but uh, yeah i think it's still very like similar to how i've seen it like when i messed around with this basically we need to make this v1 version here i think all of these ships are like that you can craft different kinds i think they are pretty much the same uh except like they look different it's also always like very similar to items right like except this one has for example two balloons on the side this one has one at the top um here the engines are more in the center like the the shape is slightly different but i think it's like otherwise very similar like I, I don't think there's a difference between these ships like all the stats are the same except for the uh i just saw one yeah the creative version of course has like everything uh okay so to actually make it we need all of these items so it shouldn't be too bad we need some of these logic chips which is just gold nugget cobble and redstone dust and i think i actually want a bunch of them so let's do whoops Let's do one, two, three. Apparently, I picked three there, even though I clicked once. And then, well, cobbles actually. <laughs> I can't believe I'm low on cobblestone. Wait, do we have cobble in here? Oh, that's weird. All right, I'm gonna go get some. Oh, wait, but I'm still touching them right now. Shoot. Where did I put my other pickaxe? Oh, there it is. Just blind. Should probably repair these. Okay, finally got enough. That was something, man. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make a stack of these because I think we need a ton of these anyway Like at least some of them and I like to have excessive items You know if you need them ever you have them so it should be fine. Okay, so we need iron minecart There's a minecart and then there we go. Just one of the frames Then we need the actual core. So it's more iron magma block gold and diamonds There we go got that 
And then I think we need, what was it? Uh, two engines, right? Yeah. So piston, redstone block, and more iron and iron bars. Cool. Two. And then this balloon, which is just leather and string. Boom. And then we need four leads, right? To combine this all, I think. Yeah. Uh, leash, they're called in here. Oh, we have four. Look at that. So, we want to make the Wiesenburg, I think is what it wanted us to make. Yeah, that's level one. And there we go. Ha ha ha. Completed. So, we get the book and we get some of these fuel pallets, which is great. Uh, frame upgrade. Our basic airship isn't so great, but luckily we can upgrade it. We'll start with the frame upgrade. The frame upgrades allow further uh, upgrades to our airship. There are five tiers of each upgrade. Text is a little bit funky with this texture pack. Frame upgrade, and we get more fuel out of it too. Okay, but before we do, let's go check this out. And we get a nice manual too, so we can read about it. In a very tiny font. I might actually replace the font in this texture pack. It's a little bit hard to read sometimes. But yeah, if you look at this now, if you hold shift, you can see, for example, oops, this consumes 60 fuel. I don't know how often or what that means. Uh, speed is zero. I guess that just means like plus zero speed. It's like it just moves really slowly or maybe it doesn't move at all. Uh, but it only has a max altitude of 75. So I think that means we can't go higher than that. So let's just throw this on the ground. Uh, I think you just, oh, the shift, oh, it's shift right click, right. Shift right click, boom, there it is. Fancy looking model. The textures are like, yeah. <laughs> Could could be different, uh, but it's fine. And then we just right click it And we currently do not have fuel. Uh, I forgot what the button is. Hold on. Let me assign these Okay, R is the menu and then this is where we can put the fuel pellets That burns through this really quickly, but we can hold space to go up, you know, and then we hover like this We can turn and we're about to crash and I think X is descent. Yeah, what happens if we run out of fuel? Do we just glide down? Yeah, we just slowly descend. At least we don't crash, you know? So yeah, it consumes fuel quite a bit. It's not very fast. Um, forgot, wasn't there a way to like just shift or oh, shift? No, I guess you just break it like normal. Whoops. Okay, so it's not very great. So yeah, we definitely want to upgrade this. Okay, so it wants us to make the frame upgrade level 5. Uh, that is these guys up here. And again, these all need these chipsets. And then other components that also need these chipsets. So definitely a good thing we made a bunch of them. Now holding shift, it says, allows airships to uh, get other upgrades. Oh, yeah, get other upgrades works in any uh, airship version. Uh, un unlocks new frame visuals. Use the airship upgrade menu. And then tier 2, this is the base upgrade. Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 4, Tier 5. This one now looks transparency and coloring as well. Allow airships to get other upgrades. Works in any airship version. Okay, does that mean we need the previous upgrade first? Not sure, but maybe... Uh, well, I, I guess if you craft the higher tier, you need the previous tier. So I don't know if you can just go with the level 5 right away. But I guess we just start small. So let's make these casings and then the level one thing. Maybe we get these back and then can upgrade them or something. All right, there's the frame one that finishes. We get more fuel pellets, which is great. Now the fuel pellets, let's, let's actually look at this. How do we make these? So it's redstone and charcoal or coal it gives you eight. Okay, it's a little bit pricey, but not too bad, I guess. All right, so let's try this out again. Throw this on the ground. And then, come on, come down. If we press R, we also have like the upgrade tab here. And I guess we just put this into here. Yeah, it says this and then installed. And we can take these out again. Oh wait, can you just, oh, you don't need this in there. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. It doesn't actually consume the item. That'd be interesting if it doesn't. Uh, we can also change the appearance. So now we got the frame unlocked here. We can choose like a different design if you want. Kind of like the dark oak. Let's just go with the dark oak. And a module is nothing. Okay, cool. So let's just leave this guy here for now. Now we need to make the actual upgrades though. So it says pack mule. Um, there's different kinds. The storage module at onboard storage. So your ship can carry your luggage. All that added weight, uh, weight will slow you down though. Although all the types of modules can be installed, storage speed, altitude, etc. Only one can be active at a time. Okay, so you can have them installed, but then you can like switch between them. I'm guessing if you turn this off, maybe it drops all the items. Uh, I'm not too concerned about items right now. We just mostly want this to explore. So I'm gonna leave this for now. Let's check out this one. The core upgrade increases the speed of the airship. That is a good one. 
the installed frame upgrade must be the same tier or higher. Okay. So that's why you want a higher tier. So if you look at this, this is the frame, this is the core. This is the one we want. So yeah, it, oh, you need to make another airship core. Okay. And then core shards, which is uh, similar to these guys. It is just like slightly different recipes every time, but yeah. Um, and then I guess we just go with this one. Now this one increases it by plus one. And it also like uses the last one to upgrade him, right? Yeah, okay. So we can all make uh, tier one for now and then slowly upgrade, upgrade them over time, I suppose. Okay, there's our core upgrade. And we get more fuel, which is great. Uh, there is a fuel upgrade too, right? Balloon upgrade, more speed, Scotty. The speed modules increase both your forward speed as well as your turning speed. Okay, so there is a difference between like these upgrades and these uh, modules, it seems. Forward speed increased by one. Okay, use in the modules menu. Hmm. What's the next one? The balloon upgrades increase the max altitude. This is important too. I don't know what the altitude or what the height in the end is, but we want to like be able to fly high enough, you know. I really hope these work in the end. <laughs> it would suck if they don't. Alright, so I'm just going to make this as well. Okay, making these balloons that are pretty expensive because they need a lot of leather and I don't have that much, so I just slaughtered a bunch of cows. Uh, but that should be it for the balloon upgrade. There we go. More fuel. Awesome. Uh, and so I want to see this. Because the other one just like we didn't, we got back again, right? So if I put these in here. Uh, let's see. This is core. Yeah, I can take them out again. Interesting. So they just stay in there. Oh no. Then this one is engine. I think that's the next task here. Yeah, the engine upgrade. Uh, increase the efficiency. So, well, increase. Increase the efficiency so you burn less fuel. Okay, yeah. Awesome. So this is the one we want the most, I think. So that one is this guy and then these engines, which I just made. All right. We did that one as well and we get more fuel. Did I claim this one? Yeah. Cool. Halfway around the world, the efficiency modules increase the burn time of your fuel, allowing for greater range. These we probably want. How expensive are those? Efficiency, so that is module chips, which again needs logics and emeralds. Heavy pressure plate, stone, quartz. Okay, we can do this. Shouldn't be too bad. I think I'm gonna make this. A uh, few last 20% longer. Now, can I make the other ones too? It just requires the previous tier and then with some upgrades, right? I don't think these require like a better thing installed, I'm guessing. Now, actually, before we do anything, one thing I want to check is like if you have this all upgraded, right? And I break this. Do you remember all your upgrades? Yes, okay, so we don't need to like carry these around or something. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna make six of these, right? Because we want to make the highest efficiency one. That requires a total of six, good. Okay, so I have the first one, then get the second, and then we got the last one. So that is 60% better fuel. That sounds pretty good. My inventory situation is not so great. We really need to do something about that soon, I think. Okay, but let's go to check this out and see how much better this is, if at all. And I hope I can use this <laughs> highest tier. Otherwise, I just made this for nothing. Okay, so modules in here. Oh, doesn't let me learn it. Okay, so maybe... Hmm. Oh, we can change the balloon now, too. Yeah, these are pretty ugly. <laughs> Gonna take this one. Oh, and it didn't register that we finished this one here either, because... I didn't like get out of the crafting table. Ah, shoot. I might cheat this in two, maybe. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I get it now. So there's these little numbers on these icons. So this requires a tier one. Oh, this, uh, yeah, it needs to be a tier one. This requires tier two. This requires tier three or up. So we actually would need the tier three engine upgrade, I think. Yeah, so I'm just gonna craft this, I think, if I can. Okay, got I got a tier 3. Now, I have a feeling I think that the core probably needs to be a tier 3 too, but I'm just going to give it a shot anyway. This is how we learn, right? Yeah, I think... Doesn't let me install, so I think I need at least the uh, the core. Yeah. Or the frame, I mean. Okay, let's see if that works. Um, It doesn't... Hmm. Is there a way to get these out again? Oh, you need... Ugh, I'm stupid. You, you do need the previous tier too. Well, that's actually okay, because it's not like I wasted this, right? We need to make... Like, if we w ever want a second airship, we have to, like, get all of these anyway to keep upgrading them. So I need to make two more of these of, like, version 2, and then we can upgrade this. Okay, well, this isn't plan of the whole, like, quest or anything. 
I am going to make a cobblestone generator from Tiny Progressions. That way we can just have it produce cobblestone for us, right, the whole time. I don't need to go mine every single time. So that is tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, 4, tier 5. And all we need now is a chest. Okay, so let's just put this somewhere. Again, this is super messy everywhere. So we just put this up here with a chest on top. And boom, look at this. <laughs> Who needs to go mine cobblestone when you have this? And maybe that's a quest later, but... I didn't see it right now, so... But yeah, these chips, I had to make, like, so many stacks of these already, just because upgrading is so expensive, so yeah. Okay, I got a tier 2 now, of the frame at least, so let's just double check that this works now. Good, this works, awesome. But yeah, we need these anyway if we want to ever make a different airship and upgrade it, so... All good. All good. Hawkeye made the level tier 3 of both of them, or tier 2, I mean, uh, and brought my tier 3, so level 2 of this... And then level three, let's see, would this work? No, you do need to frame, right? Yeah, you need the tier three frame. And then the tier three efficiency. And now, still not. Okay, so we, okay. <laughs> you know what? Um, okay, I think that's still wrong. But, however, these already give me the fuel efficiency, right? I think I need to do the same with this. I think this also just, it, it, that doesn't mean it's a tier. It means it needs like this first and this one and this one. So we do need all three of those two. And I'm sure you guys all know this already, how this works, but hey, I want to figure it out, and I think that's how it how it's done. Uh, so we're gonna go check it out. Alright, now we have one of each, so yeah, hopefully this works now. So hopefully, we can now install all of these modules. Yay! Uh, oops, level 2, level 3. Nice. Now, can you get these back? That's my that's my biggest question. And also, it looks like... Uh, well, I can't read what the efficiency there is because my mouse... Oh, minus 12 now. Okay, so that's much better. Before it was minus 60 or something. And altitude currently is 100. Hopefully, that's enough. The... I mean, we could increase the balloon one, but that's the expensive stuff. Uh, and then there is also the... Oh, cruise control. What is that? Airship can auto forward. Cool. You can land on water. Infinite fuel, but it makes your ship really slow. You can add music onto your ship and an altitude. Well, I could make the level one, right? Oh, but only one module can be active at a time, right? So like if now it's active, you can see it in the top. If I turn this off, my fuel efficiency is now minus 30. Okay, I see. Yeah, so we probably want that. So let's try this again if I put on this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is much better fuel efficiency, and our speed is pretty decent now too. Could add more speed upgrades, but I think this will be fine. And it actually shows you how long your fuel lasts that you have in there, 38 minutes now. Oh, that is super cool. Alright, I think we're ready. I think we're ready for for the end again. Hopefully it works then, hopefully we don't need a higher altitude. May as well take our airship to go to the end portal again. I actually just went back and made the... Uh, speed uh, the core upgrades too because these already give us speed. We don't need the modules for that. That's still active, right? Okay, so that should already be faster too. So let's see. Oh Yeah, that is good. That is good That is much faster than before nice You know before we go into back into the, the end Let's maybe see if we can find this treasure. This is the map I'm holding right now that we found in the end dungeon or oh, in the stronghold I mean and you can see in the bottom right corner, the little dot, that's us right now. So somewhere north uh, west is the treasure, so I'm just gonna go fly here. The, the the fortress is like somewhere around here where the lava pool is on the mini-map. I didn't make a waypoint though, unfortunately, so a little bit silly there. But yeah, I'm gonna see if we can find this treasure and see what we can find. Oh, and there's one of those towers too. Man, this is gonna be so cool for exploration as well. I love it. Oh, another town even. We found a whole new town. Okay, I'm just gonna mark this and then we explore this next time, I think. But you can see on the mini-map now, it's actually uncovering it, so we are pretty close. Oh, we can't higher than this. Can't go higher than this right now. This is our max altitude here, which is 100, right? Yeah. And there's one more of these, like, platforms we've seen next to the stronghold too. Oh, it's more this way. The X marks the spot. It's kinda up here and it should be relatively close to the surface, so let's see if we can find it. I'm gonna say it's like around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Nice. What do we get? Efficiency 2 book. It's alright. Eh, 
it's not terrible stuff, I guess. Got some music and a saddle. Can we craft saddles in this? Nope, so that's nice. All right, we're back in the end. I'm just gonna put a waystone up here too, so we can teleport at any time. So I think I should go through the thing first, the portal over there, and then use the airship. All right, seems to work just fine in the end. So I'm just gonna fly around and see if we can find any of these airships somewhere. Ideally without looking at any enderman. Oh, I just noticed you can actually see the altitude at the top of the screen. 86 out of 100. That's cool. I like all this information you have. I'm guessing the bar below is maybe the speed or something? Hmm, maybe not. Maybe that's the total amount of fuel in your system that you have in there and the bottom bar is like the current pallet it's using up. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. As soon as you like refresh, refresh the bar at the bottom, the top one uh, got smaller. Oh, I see a ship in the distance. Hello, airship. I am also airship. Maybe we can be airship buddies. Even with this, like, sh uh, flying around, it still takes a while to find these. These are super rare. Oh, I shouldn't do this. <laughs> I would have been scary if I ac accidentally broke, like, my ship while doing this. All right. I'm just gonna go grab this and uh, go downstairs. Because I saw the guy up there. Do we have a light in here? Yes, we do. And these jerks. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Upstairs, maybe? Probably upstairs or outside or something. Anyway, we got the elytra! Yes! And a diamond frame! What else do we have here? Diamond pants. Oh, these are actually good. These are actually good pants. These are also good pants. These are decent boots. Eh, these are not so good. And a mending helmet. Ooh, man. Okay, I guess I'll leave the item. No, I'll leave the snow behind. Emerald spear, don't need that. And I guess I'll take these things too. Fine, I'll take the emeralds. Nice. So we got the elytra. Very, very cool. They look awesome in this, in this too. Look at these wings. Oh, that looks so cool. Let's just put them on us. I want a second pair though. Okay, it looks stupid with the backpack. <laughs> I would like a second pair. One for the feather and one for myself, but um, for now that's good enough, I guess. I think the guy's on the outside. I kind of want to get the head as well. No! <laughs> it fell because my inventory was full. Oh, that is so sad. Okay, well, like I said, I want to find another ship anyway. Alright, now that we are back, we only need two feathers. And I think, again, I don't have feathers that's for some reason that seems to be the thing I never have okay here we go elytra wings feathers gold magic feather and now if I go outside ah we can fly awesome so now we can build here in peace in creative mode and again it's only it depends on the range of the beacon and the um, yeah, the range, like how big this is. So this is not the highest one, right? There's one more row, I believe. Was it two more rows? I'm not sure. Uh, I did change the config slightly though, so it increases it by a bit more. Otherwise, it's just like 10 blocks per level, which is probably enough, but this just saves me to having to move this. I think if we have this pretty much in the center of our base, we can probably cover the entire base. And so like if I fly away, let's see how far I can actually go and whoop there he goes right so it's not like it's you know it's not amazing yet but there it is now I'm back so it's a little bit wider than the beacon range I think yeah the beacon range is like where would it reset yeah so like I'm outside the beacon range right now but I still have flight in this range so yeah it's a little bit wider than the beacon effect itself but this is cool so now I can fly around you know and then build things uh, can build on that tower over here which is slightly out of range almost I think uh, and then, yeah, if you have this bigger, we can just put this on the ground and then hide it and stuff. So that should be cool. But we shall end this here for today. Next time, not quite sure. Maybe we'll start building, actually. Or, um... We still have to go back to the dungeon, too, and clear out the last level. I might do this as well. I have an idea of how to make this a lot easier. Uh, may do this. We shall see. We shall see. Whatever I feel like. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Thanks a lot for watching. And I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.